Hello everybody and welcome back to Provost Gaming and more EU4 Dharma. Playing as the Moogles, going for the true heir of Timur. Achievement. Uh, we need to get ready for a war against the Timurids to keep them out of coalitions. Unless we don't. I mean, here's the thing, right? No one else is really in these coalitions. Malwa being related to the Timurids is a huge problem, yes. Admittedly, and they probably won't break off this relationship anytime soon. So it's entirely possible that no matter what, I'm going to have to... Uh, fight the Timurids in the near future. So that really is what it comes down to. Can I actually say, you know what, screw this, let's attack other people? For example, my truce with uh, Jean Pour ends in two years. Or do I just do this to knock them out? I think I just attack them anyway. I think we have time. We have 50 years to still make this stuff happen. If I have to truce break, I can. Like, remember, aggressive expansion and stability is just a number. We totally can truce break later if we have to, to make sure we get this within 50 years. The important thing is to make sure coalitions don't come back to bite me. For example, if Arista were to join a coalition right now, that would be highly unfortunate. You know what I mean? More Separatists. Yay. I need reinforcements here, please. Detach someone so we don't lose progress. Let's go kill. No more years of Separatism for you. Easy mode. All right. I think this army can handle most stuff. We're going to go ahead and send these armies over toward the Timurids. I think we're actually still really close to their capital, aren't we? Yeah, we're right next to their capital. We can still take that pretty quick. If we want to. And we can call in a couple of allies. Do I have enough favors with Vagina Gar? I do, actually. We can call them in favors. My question is, is there anyone else I want to use Vagina Gar for? Maybe fighting Orissa. Is it worth fighting the Timurids with just me and the Mamluks? Patna I can also use against Orissa. And I think I can handle the rest. Yeah, I think we call in Vagina Gar to make this war as easy as possible since I'm already out of manpower. And, of course, we have to call in the Mamluks. Alright. Let's just get our troops in position. So we're ready to go immediately. Uh, who else can we improve relations with? Um, Ayutthaya is surprisingly strong in this game. Or, better yet, is there someone we should be fabricating claims on? Actually, better yet, before I forget, let's go ahead and designate Bengal as a march. And then, let's actually take a look at finishing this stupid mission. So, in the Lahore and the Multan areas, here and here, we have a province that is above 30%. This one's close. Do I dare reduce the autonomy? These guys are all down to 7%. How long do I have to wait? If I wait a few months... This will go down on its own. We don't have to get ourselves 10 extra unrest. I mean, that's tempting. 25, 23. Okay, so this one, Dawaba, we would actually have to reduce. And I'm going to reduce the autonomy. Yeah, that creates a lot of unrest. Now we just need one more province. Um, I'm impatient, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and reduce the autonomy here too. Okay, we can finish this mission. Finally! Got a whole mess of claims. We need to conquer... A lot of Timurid land for the next batch, which I don't I don't really care about. Yeah, that just gave me claims like crazy against the Timurids. That's about it, though. Um, what I want to know... Let's suppose... Let's say the Maidan area here. Like, what gives me claims against them? Because I actually don't know. No. 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 East and West Bengal. Rissa, Assam. No. No. Upper Burma. I feel like you have to get all the way down here for some of this. I don't care about these regions. Wow, entire regions? Jeez. The missions really, really do support an extremely aggressive Mughals. I am not seeing evidence 
Oh, there it is. You have to get all the way down here. Oh, good God. Conquer Malwa. I mean, yeah. We might be able to get the claims if we can finish off these areas here. Conquer Malwa. Conquer one, two provinces here, then one here, and this would get me claims on, I think, on the rest of this region. If we conquer all of that, we get to move on with this one, which gets me claims down here. Okay, so it is technically doable. It does give me an idea of what I absolutely want to take from Malwa here. It also tells me I really want to kill these guys. Who, by the way, are allied to a surprising number of folks. Um, we should, however, preemptively start getting claims on Bamanis again, probably. And maybe against Bogolana. Just in case I can't get those missions done in time and I'm able to attack them quickly. And there goes another general. Still wishing I had that tech. Man, you need so much power. Can I get power from anyone yet? Brahmin approval doesn't do a lot for me except for maybe some more taxes. I can get some diplomatic support. Not a lot. Checking to see if there's if I if I get ten more influence, is there anything? Yes. Lose money, gain loyalty. I could procure a loan, then use that money to placate them to get enough. That doesn't give them more influence, though, so it doesn't actually do much. I guess I'll just take the 50 power. Interest per annum. Ouch. Uh, this is not a problem for me right now. Promoting nobility would just upset people. And I can't do anything with the Ulema. So there's not much we can do in terms of getting some free power right now. Alright. My troops are almost in position. Uh, we are still reinforcing a bit. I don't have any manpower to speak of. We could afford to handle a couple more mercs. How much money am I making? Not much. So maybe we can't right now. I'm actually debating getting into stabi uh, stability right now. Another stability would be quite nice. Reduce unrest, give more money. Plus one stability is generally where I want to be. We have the admin power we're sitting on right now, so I think I'm actually going to go ahead and do it. Let's actually get a stability. Convert to Sikhism. No. Terrible idea. Muscovy attacked no guy. Okay. Ajam is actually already sieging down the capital of the Timurids. Well, ain't that fun. Well then, uh, okay. I think we just go ahead and declare the war now. Mamluks, Vagina Gar, it is time! If I humiliate them, I could do what? Core revocation, monetary reparations, annulment of treaties, transfer, but I cannot have them liberate any vassals, transfer vassals, liberate a country, and so on. I don't see a good point in humiliating these guys. I think it's better just to actually go ahead and do a conquest war. We'll get less prestige, but I don't care. Uh, and it's easier to get a ticking t uh, war score this way, I think. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this. Let's attack. You are going to go to the fort. You're going to grab the war goal real quick. Ajam is going to have fun. And the Mamluks, I'm hoping, are going to walk in here and destroy these suckers. Good enough for me. I guess we could also be using our admin power to get more states, right? Actually, yeah. Uh, you need to get up here and kill his army before he goes far. So let's chase him down, because I don't feel like I don't feel like dealing with it. Vassals. Coke should have joined. I'm gonna say, Doty, this is your charge. Go kill. I'll feed it off to Bengal later if I can. Though I don't think so, because I think they're a member of a coalition. So that'll be a no. But there are many other ways that we can fight them. Split, split, split. Go here, go here, go here. 
But Lucistan's capital is right down here, too. That's another thing that we want to kill. Uh, they are attacking Malwa. Okay. I kind of need to take both of these forts, so I'm going to say that this is now the charge of my march here, and I'm going to go for this fort. And we're going to try to make sure that these guys don't take the two provinces that I need to finish my mission. Okay, keep pushing forward. Go here. Are we going to be able to get in here? Depends on how the zone of control works in an allied nation, technically. Uh, military access with you. I guess, yes. Looks like we are going to be able to get to the fort before you can. Harvest failure. Good lord. We are not having a lot of luck on that stuff, are we? Alright, so we're going to go get these two provinces. No one is working on coke for some reason. I say coke, I don't know how you actually pronounce it. I just think of the coke brothers every time I say it. So, I just feel like it has to be pronounced coke. Uh, we cannot easily get down here. Not yet, but let's go ahead and start the march. You join them. You go here. Okay. Regency and Malwa. Good timing for them, huh? Look at Vijayan Agar go. They can't even siege down Bengal. All right. So this is the important part. You are welcome to take these three provinces. I could not possibly care less. That's a phrase that everyone says wrong, by the way. Now, you know how many times I hear people say, I could care less? Like, what do you mean you could care less? You mean you do care somewhat, then? The whole point is that you couldn't care less. To, si to say that you don't care at all. That's the point. Like, why are you messing this up? Vagina Gar, kill him! Hooray! Stack white. If only you guys can kill all of Baluchistan. Oh, look. Rebels. Maybe Vagina Gar will come back and help with those. He might, actually. This is actually a good time for a lot of rebels to fire. We have a strong ally who might actually be of some use to me. What do you know? It's an unusual position. I'm not accustomed to it. All right, Baluchistan. You're a loser and I hate you. But you don't have any land that I need, so you get a you get you get lucky today. You get a pass. Bamanis. I want claims on the most expensive provinces. In this case, it'll be Karanha. Thank you. Uh, Baglana. I guess it's going to be Dawlatabad. I, I apologize if there are anyone of Indian descent who watch these videos. Because I am fully aware that I am butchering your probably glorious language, or one of many, many, many dialects. And I feel bad. Truce of Jampur is over. Did you pick up any allies? Nope, you're still friendless. Mm -hmm. Turns out, if you can isolate all of the uh, Muslim nations, the Hindus don't really feel inclined to protect them. Which makes things a little bit easier. Let's see. I think you're going to retreat all the way back here, which I can't get to. Hi, Timurids! I am hopeful that you are not going to be a threat to me. Ajam has the capital fort of the Timurids. Good. Uh, they are actually coming after me. Alright. We need to reinforce up here the best we can. I need to get a general in charge, and it's going to have to be my king. I am risking losing a bit. If he dies. But we're going to have to do it. He's going to get the defensive p terrain in the mountains, which does suck. Heavily. Still. He has abysmal morale. I've got effectively an 8 versus a 2. We might... Actually, yeah, we handled that. What do you know? We're fine. Growth of business of miniatures. Free base production in uh, Samarkand. Cool. We have 95 army tradition right now. Are you freaking kidding me? That's amazing. Still a good ways off on tech. I don't need to call in Patna. Timurids have pieced out with no guy. Chagatai just died. 
Balukistan, you are a member of a coalition, so I will not be able to peace out with you separately. This is, however, a pretty good amount of war score we'll get. We have that fort done. Good. Working on this one from Malwa, who is not in a coalition. So we will be able to separate peace and take those two provinces. Vagina Gar has decided to siege down Coke for me. Okay. My marches think that it's more important to defend against uh, the Timurids, and they're probably right. Once again, I don't think losing 75% taxes, unless this is not a state. It is a state. But it's a relatively minor development one. We would lose out on... Probably about 0.2 ducats per month. 0.3 maybe. Um, still don't think it's worth it. I'd rather just take the free prestige and walk away laughing. Alright, there goes the Siege of Kandahar. Next fort is down here and BAM! Still, if we can find a good engagement with them, that'd be convenient. Alright, so that's done. I can take these two provinces. I actually might as well do this now. Go ahead and take your money. You're going to revoke some cores against me, too, for fun. Cool? Cool. Done? Alright, that's two more provinces, and we assimilate the Malvi people. So that's another accepted culture making things easier on me. Um... I'll send you to go kill these uh, rebels, since apparently Vagina Guard's not going to help. Aw, oh, you handed the land off to, the, to Bengal. Thank you. Very nice. Vagina Gar has about 30,000 troops here. Now, here's the thing. I want them to engage on the Timurids and take the bulk of the losses so that it makes it easier for me to kill them later. That is what I want to see happen. I don't think I'm going to get that lucky, but it's what I want to see. And it looks like a Jom just pieced out, which means that the capital fort is up for grabs. Let's go get it. And a couple more Separatists have fired. Oh, God, and I'm locked into a bad fight. Right, we have to get a leader in charge in case I get shattered. Okay, we won that. Let's hope that my heir doesn't die or anything. I also need to be very cautious about my king dying. Hello, Punjabi Separatists. Once again, a 33 th stack. Good God. Hey, Vagina Gar, that would actually be a prime opportunity for you to help me. I'm getting the forts. You go kill the rebels. There's a lot of them right there, just waiting to die. We need so much more manpower still. I am nowhere close. Uh, looks like Bomanis is attacking Andra. Which is annoying. We're already at 51% war score. Remember, the goal here is to get as long of a truce timer as possible, too, though. Uh, I need you guys, for example, to stop protecting... Did you already break off your alliance? I think you did. Not that it matters. Oh, Malwa's been full annexed. Oh, okay. So you aren't worried about that anymore. Um, I'm going to want to probably humiliate you if it's an option. I will want to take... Coke, which is 31 war score, apparently. I won't care about any of this other stuff. I will want to humiliate you and take war reps, and then probably just money after that. If we can. The Mamluks are not doing a lot, and that's partly because they keep getting struck at the Straits of Hormuz. They really should do something else with their time. I could stand building a couple more temples and stuff. Anything that gets me a lot of money. Also, I could really use some manpower. So we're going to go ahead and spend a little bit of money to do that. Vagina Gar's coming in to stack wipe small stacks. Never mind, they have to retreat. So they didn't do a very good job. We are still looking really weak here. I need these guys to finish reinforcing before I do anything else. Could consolidate these guys. I don't even have the manpower to... I'm going to have to. We're going to consolidate. 
I'm going to lose a bit of Force Limit out of it, but we really can't afford to get the manpower to actually reinforce these guys for a while, so why keep spending the money on it? A general died, which is terrible, terrible timing. We're very close to getting the tech, but I also don't have any leaders that won't lose me stability if they die. Mm, dangerous. Dangerous position to be in. I need you guys to be willing to come stack up on me. Still not tech. Let's go ahead and buy down some war exhaustion. The Timurids are buzzing around here, and I'm getting no help from the Mamluks. Come on, 34,000 troops. Get over here. Bamanis rivaled me, and we are about to get murdered. You'll leave on the 11th. They'll arrive on the 3rd. Uh-oh. Actually, they're backing off. What do you know? I can't say that I understand why. You had a three-star general of 5-5 five, five sitting there ready to defend. And you did nothing with it. Mughal Particularists. Nope, they're attacking me down here instead. Free stability. I'll take it. And we're going to get wrecked over here. Time to retreat. I have kind of been counting on the Mamluks to be far more helpful than they have been. That's sort of part of my problem here. They're not being helpful at all. Oh good, more Separatists. I think I can handle this. Barely holding off on tech. Come the heck on. Can we get this capital fort please? It'll make a really big difference if I can get this capital fort, please. The Mamluks are here. Eh, mostly Vagina Gar. And more Separatists. Okay, we won that fight against those Separatists. I've got no men at all. I am just bleeding money. I do not need to influence Bengal anymore. Finally, we can get the tech. Let's improve our numbers a bit. Okay, we got their capital. We are up to... a pretty good amount of... Um, war score. If I could get a really decisive victory on these guys here in the desert, that would be great. Not sure. Okay, here's... Who's attacking here? Vagina Gar, you need to come and assist me here. We can win this. Vagina Gar, stop going west. Oh gosh, dang. Alright. More Separatists, uh, of course. Why wouldn't there be? Protests in Bukhara. Hambali Theologians, more legalism. Decisive win, right here. Not very decisive. But it helps. Alright, we need to get our troops together and go deal with the rebels. I need, my, I need these other guys to just deal with it from here on out. I have, I have bled enough for this war, I really can't afford any more. So I'm just going to have to go deal with Rebels instead. Actually, the Mamluks want to help. Really? Okay. This is great. Go here, 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 and here. So they're going to go deal with the big stack there. Alright. You guys don't need to stack on me anymore. Go ahead and back off and do other fun things. I thought I skipped this song. One of these days I'm going to remember to go and turn off the epistles. Because I keep forgetting. The Timurids still have a pretty large army running around somewhere. Looks like they're actually all down here. If only we could get control of the Straits. That'd be a great opportunity to block them. Yeah, their army's all down over here for some reason. Looks like they want to siege down Najd and the Mamluks land. 
I'm going to say that this is Vagina Gar's target here, and this is the Mamluk's target here. Please get those forts. While I casually walk away and don't help with anyone ever again. Good, they're stuck on forts and stuff. Perfect. This is preferable. This is the way to do it. Alright, we're making a bit of money. Um, I can rival some people at the end of this war. We can also get some more claims against Bommanis, which we should do. And against Bengala. Sorry, Bagalana. Go ahead and conquer that as well. You are another person I need to kill. So I can finish off a mission and get a whole bunch of new claims. Hadoti Separatists. Oh, wonderful timing. Just in time for me to kill you. Let's get it. Oh, I was going to say we need to have as much overwhelming numbers as possible, but it turns out they died pretty easily. Okay. We can afford some admin tech. Courthouses. I don't think I need that. Instead, I'd rather have states. So... Let's do Bundelak or whatever it's called. Bundelak end. Turn you into a state. Court up. 138 power. Thank you. Also, Gerd would be easy. Okay. It's a bit of power to spend, but hey, if it gets me extra man money and manpower, well worth Uh, we can afford a new general, finally. Oh, we're so close to the 100, 100 army tradition, by the way. I wonder if we can get it after just killing a couple more rebels. Let's get overwhelming numbers in here. I got point eight. Can we get up to 100? Don't think so. Man, we're close, though. I say that, and it says we just got 10. We are 0.8 off. Ah, oh, it just hurts my heart. A free pip, man. That extra 25% morale of armies, though, that's a big part of the reason we're just obliterating. All right, a 144. Good shock value, at least. I'm going to go ahead and um, pull my king off so we don't lose stability and die. Birth of colonialism. Another institution has begun. Still up to 63%. Looks like Vagina Gar is about to get attacked by the Timurids. Hopefully they survive this and have reinforcements close by. It may honestly be time to just sort of peace out as soon as this fight is over. Because we... The Mamluks are not convening enough to actually win this. They're not doing much. So I think it would actually be better just to go ahead and peace out. I don't actually care that much if I humiliate you. I mean, it's nice, but it's not a big deal. It'd be far more impressive if I could force you to release some nations, like, for example, lose control of these straits. You know? It's been interesting use of Diplo power to try and weaken the Timurids. Do you have any alliances I care about? The answer is no. I wonder, I could force them to end their rivalry with me? But I'm still rivaled with them, so it wouldn't do much. You know, I wonder if that's actually worth it. If they're not rivaled to me, and if I were to break off my rivalry of them, I think they want too much of my land to not hate me, right? Oh yeah, they got cores on all my land, never mind. Because I was wondering, if I get them to stop being rivals, maybe they won't be joining coalitions in the future, but I don't think it's going to work that way. Okay. So then... Uh, we can have them return cores to people. But that cost me a lot of money for nothing. I can have them just revoke a bunch of cores on me. That is a thing. Alternatively, how much money you got? I can take a thousand ducats off of them.
That would be worth it. And we got another 20 reasons I can still use. I don't think any of those actually matter, though. So I think I will just have them revoke a few cores. And unless I want to take some land for myself, but I don't think that there's anything I want to take. Again, everything else is just a distraction. I am still taking Coke, so that's going to go to Bengal. And this is just going to have to be the end of it. All right. That's as much truce timer as I can get with the Timurids, and we just took a crap load of money from them. Which we will use to fund more of our military. Okay. So the next thing to do, then, is to just go and kill Jean Pour, and finally take this province that we've been holding off on for a very long time. Let's get my last claim against Bamanis. We are done there. Next truce expires with Baglana in 1506, so two years. Uh, Kochi Separatists are unfortunate. Influence over Yas. I guess I will continue to influence them, so it's easy to keep my, um... Hambali Scholars in the future. I do not need knowledge sharing, but thank you. That's very kind. Yeah, let's go ahead and declare our war against Jean Pour before anyone else can join. And I want to take that province. Go! And for some reason... Pressing the button has immediately triggered a rebellion. Let us send... I did not mean to consolidate just now. That was a mistake. Let's send these guys over here, and then the rest of you go to the fort. Alright. That's where we're going to have to end this video here. But at least they're not going to continue to be a part of any coalitions. Chagatai apparently is very mad at me. That's fun. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get our land from Jean Pour. Uh, if I can find an excuse to kill Ratanpur, we'll be able to take that last province, and that will get us another set of missions. So actually, we're about to finish two missions to get a whole new set of cores, and at any time, we are allowed to attack Arakan and Orissa and feed the crud out of Bengal. That'll be great. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.